we give God all the praise, adoration, dominion, thanksgiving, might in Jesus' name. This is the day that the Lord has made. We've got to rejoice and be glad in it. And the Bible says, in all things, we give him praise. In all situations, we learn how to thank him. In all situations, we learn how to magnify him. We to learn how to worship him. Like I told you last time yesterday, the true test of your real Christianity and faith is that you are in a tearful mood, but you are praising God. You are in a painful mood, you are praising God. You don't praise God seasonally. You praise Him all true. You praise Him all day long. You magnify His name. Forever He should be the Lamb upon that throne. And that's the God we are dealing with. To Him be our the glory in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of this mighty man of our Lord. To glory to the name of this Prince of Peace. To God be every glory in Jesus' name. Yes, let God take out the glory. Let him receive out the glory, worship, honor, dominion, and thanksgiving, exhortation, and excellence in Jesus' name. We give God the praise. We bless him. We honor him. We adore him. We say thank you for who you are. Thank you forever. The immortal and invisible God. The God of truth and reality. Be thou exalted, O Lord God, above all the heavens, and let thy glory be above all the We give God the praise. We're still alive in the land of the living. We are kept by the power of the Lord, day by day. Night by night, we are kept by the power of the Lord. That's what it means to live by faith. You've not seen tomorrow, but you believe it's going to be a good one. You've not seen it, you believe something good, beautiful preachers will happen. That is what it means to live by faith. Remember now, we're talking about faith. Life, everything here should be, you know, cling around about faith. The word faith. Jesus came and died on the cross. He came over 2,000 years ago. You were not there. You were told in the scripture you believed it. That is faith. You believe that God is in existence. That is faith. We were going to come to a man called Enoch. He was not because God took him away. He lived by faith. Faith is moving with God. Faith is obedient to what God has said. Whatever thing any other man has said is not important. What God has said is final about your life. Many of you fear that you'll be hopeless at such age. No. I know men who never knew faith in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s. It was in their 60s they came to know Jesus. And in their 60s, all the things they're supposed to possess on earth, every good thing came from their 60s. I decree you will not die premature. No evil shall be failure. you. You've got to read the word by faith. That is taking God by his word. Believing that this is not the word of man. This is a word of supernatural. This is the divine word of Christ. This is what Jehovah has said. And I am a believer of the word of God. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we give you praise for another beautiful time to discuss faith. Another beautiful time to discover that without faith, it's just impossible to please you. Therefore, Lord, we want to please you, and we know you are, you are God, and you know, we know you are reachable, you are tenable. You said we can only come through faith. We know that faith is that narrow way. Faith is that crooked way. Faith is that way that looks so dangerous, so high, but which are scaled and which are moved through. Give us grace to continue by faith, to live by faith. Faith in holiness, faith in our finances, faith in our marriage, faith in our home, faith in our children, faith in our walls, faith in our going out. Live by faith every day. Faith in prayer life, O oh Lord, in our consecration life, in our holiness life, that we live by faith. Help us, O oh Lord, that we shall live by faith and extremely by faith. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For we know the Bible said that without faith it's impossible to please you. But we want to be the group and the group of people that will please you. Father, look at 
scatter. People scattered all over the world. The, the people in North America and South America. The people in Europe. The people in Asia. The people in Australia. People in Africa. In Nigeria, oh God. These people in Ghana, in Togo, in Africa. Father, they want to worship you. Give them grace. Give them grace. Give them grace. Give them grace. That the mighty grace of God will rule everywhere. And Christ them shall be honored. For unto him alone be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 No matter how sick you are, it does faith that will heal you. Hallelujah. If we continue again from where we stopped, we remember we're exposing the whole book, a uh, 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 chapter of uh, Hebrew chapter 11. Now we're going to digest from verse 23. From verse 23. Sometimes we read that before Joseph died, he made a prophecy. You people are going to leave this land. Carry my bone when you people go. You will not remain here forever. You people are going to carry my bone. Please help me share this message. Share it to your brother. Share it to your sister. Share it to people far and near. There are people who have been there who are hopeless. Who fear that the moment they carry a project, the devil will kill them. The devil cannot kill them. Power of darkness cannot kill them. Demon cannot kill them. Are you hearing me? You are bigger than what you are afraid of. Come on. That's what God said I should tell somebody here. You are bigger than what is frightening you. You are bigger than that force of influence that is trying to terrorize you. You are bigger than that. Amen. You are bigger than all the power of demon and darkness that is trying to put you to shame. In the name of Jesus, you are bigger than all of them. You will excel. You will move on. And the great grace of God will be your portion and position. Amen and amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Let's read from verse 23 right now. Remember we're exposing Hebrews. We remember we're exposing Hebrews. Okay. Chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. We're starting from verse 23 right now. Let's read verse 23. Hebrews 11 from verse number 23. The Bible, the word of God said, By faith, Moses, when he was born, was he three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandments. Wonderful, wonderful. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. That is faith. That is faith. Esteeming, verse 26, esteeming the reproach of Christ, uh, Christ greater riches than the pleasure treasures in Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Come on. Verse 27, by faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Oh my God. Oh my God. That mean, oh my God, we'll come to that. Through faith he kept the Passover and sprinkled the blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is all done by faith. Faith, these are activities of faith. This is work of faith. If you said you have faith and you don't have work, faith without work is dead. Is somebody hearing me? Faith without work is dead. Faith without work is dead. Child of God, if you say you have faith and you don't have work, then where is your faith? Faith must trigger you to do something beautiful. Faith must trigger you to do something excellent. Faith without work is what? A dead faith. Show me your faith and I will show you my work. Are you hearing me? Show me your faith and I will show you a man who has faith. For the Bible, the word of God said, for without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. Faith without work is dead. You see how these people implemented. The mother of Moses delivered Moses. Hey, this is a proper child. This is an excellent child. He is a deliverer. You see, by faith, he started proclaiming what the child is. 
Can you begin to put confidence? Your children must have gone off, gone the wrong way. But by faith, you continue pushing word of God into them. I say, no, 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 no. This is a good child. This is a wonderful child. This is a glorious child. This is this and this is that. You know, you continue, continue pronouncing it. That is faith by work. You, your faith must be confronted. Are you hearing me? Your faith must be what? Confronted. In the book of James chapter 2, from verse number 18. James chapter 2, from verse number 18. James chapter 2, from verse number 18. The Bible says, yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. No, 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 no. It doesn't belong together. You have faith, I have work. No, 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 no. Show me thy faith with thy works. And I will show thee my work, by my faith, by my works. What have your faith produced? What have your faith done? Faith must have things it has achieved. Your faith have you helped you to be healed? Yet I was sick. Doctor said this, said it. But I came to the curator. I left the doctor to curator. And when I came to curator, look at what the curator said. I got up. The curator said I'm healed. I stood by the word of the curator. That is your work. Faith must have work. It's not that every day you are looking for a job, every day you pray, you fast for one month, one year, and you are told, no, 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 make a move, go out, set strategies, I need a job. Walk out, you know, do, do something, go to social media, search for job and this and that. That is work. That is work. You know, you have already faith, but your faith is not visible. Your faith is visible by what it has achieved. Your faith can only be seen by what it has done. Are you hearing me? It's only when your faith has produced something beautiful. It's only when your faith has produced something tangible. Remember that every man of faith is a spiritual importer. He pours from heaven down to earth here. That is faith. That's why faith and prayer works together. With the prayer, you get connected to your faith and put those things down here on earth. He said, I have faith and your faith has not worked. You said you have faith in Christ and you sin against Christ. You say you have faith, you're born again, child of God. You still tell lies. You don't have faith. Your faith is not working. If your faith is working, it will deliver you from lie. If you are a child of God, every day you are sick in the hospital, carrying one bed or the other. You said you have faith. No, no, no. Tell God, increase my faith. Because if you have faith in Christ, you know, you should have all around faith and not one particular faith. There are people that have faith in one aspect of their life. You know, they, they have one aspect of faith and not general faith. No, no, no. You must have all around faith. The God that heals can deliver. The God that delivers can save. The God that saves can prosper. The God that prospered can protect. Are you hearing me? From one level of what he can do to another level of what he can do. That's why God is not a Methodist. You must show me your work by uh, your faith, by your works. Child of God, if you said you have faith, what have your faith produced? Who have you affected? What life have you affected since you become born again, child of God? Whom have you told the truth of the word of God? When you go out by faith, you say, there's something in me. Something has happened in me. I have a change in me. I have Christ in me. And by faith, you go out and make another person to look like you in faith. You, you go, the person still goes out and make another person look like. That is where your faith is working. You said I've been sick before I got born again. I was full of sickness. I was suffering from this and this. But since I got born again, the, my story have changed. Since I got born again, the, 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 the reverse is the case. Since I got born again, all things have passed away. Since I got born again, I have peace. I have joy. I have new beginning. I have everything. Since I got born again, the joy of the Lord and the mercy hand of the Lord has been on me. That is faith. Are you hearing me? There are a lot of people that when you teach them faith, instead of them to stand on the word of God and have faith, do you know what they do? They will trouble you. They will come in the morning to trouble you. Man of God, I need this. Man of God, I need this. Man of God, can you help me on this? Man of God, can... That is not faith. That is troubling somebody's life. Are you hearing me? Go to the source. God is our source. And our source is unlimited. It's not that whenever you have a problem, you remember somebody. That is not faith. Most of the time when I have problems, I don't remember anybody. You must have challenges in life. You must have things that will come before you and whatever. Whenever I have such a case, I go to the creator. I go to the creator 
I don't begin to call on people. Can you give me this? Can you please send me money? Can you please do this and this that? Can you help? No, 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 no. I don't do that. I go to my God. When I hold my God, my God will come and hold you if you are the one to be to, the, to be used by my God. Do you know what my God told me? My God told me, I said, son, that he is the owner of every pocket in the world. That whenever I have financial need, I don't panic. That he knows which pocket to touch and bring out the money. He knows which post to remove the money from. He knows which account to release the money from. Are you hearing me? Stop. Maybe somebody told you a testimony. That is why a lot of children of God don't say their testimonies again. The moment a child of God has said his testimony in the fellowship, before he could get home, one brother has called, another sister has called, this person has called, can you be a help to me? Can you be a help to me? No, 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 no. It shouldn't have been that way. Stop troubling people. Go back to God. Bible says, come on to me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Not going to a particular somebody and a particular person. There is somebody that whenever he calls me, it must be about money. Whenever he calls me, it must be about finances. He can, If he calls me three times a week, he must tell me to give him money. Today he called. I laughed. I said, sir, why is it that every time you call me, it must be about finances? You are a man of God. I am a man of God. Then we are believing and working for one God. Why must you call me on Monday on finances? Call me on Wednesday about finances. Call me on Thursday about finances. Sir, it is wrong, sir. I summoned courage and I spoke to him. A man of faith is a man of boldness. You respect people. You don't cajole people. But you speak faith into them. By the time I spoke to him, you know, by the time I spoke to him, he started smiling. I said, thank God you told me your mind. I said, yes, sir. I was not annoyed with him, but I'm trying to lift his faith up. Faith must have works. Are you hearing me? He said, yeah, a man may say that has faith and that have works. Show me thy faith without thy work, and I will show thee my, my faith by my work. Look at what the verse 19 says. Thou believest that there is one God that doeth well. The devil also believeth and trembleth. You can believe in something the devil also believes and trembles but walking it out the devil believes that there is jesus but receiving him you know bowing to jesus is what he has not done you can have all the knowledge in the world that is on the believing level are you hearing me then faith must be practical faith is producing the belief you have that this man is a savior. Save my soul. That this man can deliver you from drunkenness. Save me, Lord Jesus. You surrender for the, the, the deliverance. Are you hearing me? That this man can deliver you from lies, from bribery, from corruption, from everything you are doing. You bow for him. That is believing. Going. Faith is beyond belief. Faith is beyond belief. You go beyond belief. You know, faith is taking your belief into action. And then faith will manifest. Hallelujah. Without faith, you cannot please God. The Bible, the word of God told us that when this beautiful child, when this excellent child, when this glorious child was born, look at what the Bible said again in the book of James chapter 2, verse 20. James chapter 2, the word we are reading already, look at verse 20. Uh, 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 uh. But will it thou know over man that faith without work is dead? That means you see what is a vain man. Man is vain. The only thing that makes you to be powerful is believing in Jesus of Nazareth. Are you hearing me? Then believe that Jesus is a deliverer. Believe, let him deliver you. <clears throat> How can you be a child of God and you are still living in fear? You cannot send money to somebody. You are afraid that the person will use a small God to tie you and bind you. Are you do you have faith then? You don't have faith. You have fake. You have fake. You only have fence and not faith. You have only barriers. You use the name of Jesus as a barrier. The name of Jesus is just not a barrier. It's a protection itself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It must be by faith. Without faith, it is impossible for you to please the Lord. Without faith, you will be a baby Christian every year. Without faith, you will be there. Somebody uh, uh, that, you, that you have been there for 10, 15 years in, in faith. Somebody just get born again. The person will go to faith, got faith, drank faith, live faith, talk faith, walk faith, 
and begin to walk by faith. And the same person that you got born again before, you were born, the person you were born again 15, 17, 25 years ago. The person is only getting born again. You will the faith, people of faith are not ashamed. They will request a prayer from one year, two, three, four years, born again, child of God. I heard that God is hearing your prayer. Believe, begin to pray for me. What happened to your own faith? Where is your own faith? For without faith, it is impossible to please God. They that come to him must believe that he is and the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The Bible said what we read in the book of James chapter 2 verse 20. But, but will thou over oh, man that faith without, but will thou know over oh, man that faith without work is dead? Many of us, like I said yesterday when I was preaching, there are a lot of living dead people. They are alive, but they are dead already. But Jesus came and removed this dead and put quickeningness in us. He quickened us. He quickened us. Put a new life, a new beginning that we should not remain where we are. Where have you been? A child of God. The power of God and the word of God is coming to you today. Come on, come out of that level. Who is that small juju from the village? That anything you do, you become afraid. Before you did it, fear was in you. You had a dream, maybe you are married to a spiritual husband, you are having a spiritual wife, my husband is having a spiritual wife, this and that, my wife is having a spiritual husband, this are nonsense. Did the spiritual husband go and pay the bride price of your wife? In the money you paid, you went and married that lady legitimately because you loved her, and another power is coming. Hey, yeah, 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 my son, da, 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 da. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That is trespass, now. Nah. Mm. And it happened in the spiritual. Handle him spiritually and deal with all of them. Mama, 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 mama. It must be by faith. Let me tell you, faith without work is dead. There was when I got born again newly. People all over our yard and our house, they were complaining that there is a small rat that will always come to eat their leg. I was laughing at them and said, it cannot happen to me. I am a seed of God. That my blood is bitter. Any day, I confess it, any day this demon suck my blood, hey, that will be the end of witches and wizard. You see to that. But do you know one morning I got up and started seeing pains in my leg. Ah, I look at the heat part of my leg. Ah, I begin to see some wounds there. So this rat came, was not afraid and ate me. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Both me and other people are delivered. I commanded a spiritual riot. Come on, a man of faith will always lead one man riot. Are you hearing me? One man riot by faith and spiritually say, ba 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 ba. All the demon, do you see the prayer I prayed that day? Say that particular devil and demon that was used, even the animal the demon entered in and used. Even the people that send them, even the people that send them, that send them. The river where they are connected, the air where they are connected, the land where they are connected. You know, power of darkness has three existing powers. They cannot operate except in three places. They can operate through waters, through the land, or through the air. These are the only places to operate from. Are you hearing me? So, I started with that of the water, finished with them, dealt with them, started with that of the air, of the land, dealt with them, finished with that of the air. And that was too that land, everybody was ah, which is no more here because it a touch somebody is not supposed to touch. You are not, you are untouchable. You are not the one to be made caricature about. You are the seed of righteousness. The glory of God is upon you, like what I told you. The God of heaven revealed to me, and the even according to the Bible, that our light will shine and shine and shine every day. It will shine and enlighten and illuminate other people. That other people will see the light of God in you and walk through the light and glorious hand of God in your life. It's no more time to be afraid. It's no more time to panic. It's no more time. You have faith. You have, you have, you have, you, you are standing upon the word of God. And the word of God is immovable. The word of God is uncheckable. The word of God cannot fall. That is a man who is standing by faith. Come on, where is the faith today? That quit nobody has done. You can do it. Are you hearing me? Well, it must be by faith. Look at what the Bible said. The word of God said, my man, my man, my man. I love what the scripture said. The Bible, the word of God said, my man, my man, my man. By faith, by faith, by faith, by faith. When Moses was delivered, they said, this is a proper child. This child will be a great child. This child will be a child of honor. This child will be a child of upliftment. This child will be a child of greatness. 
No, this is not a common child that you just died anyhow. No, 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 no. What the Bible said, by faith, look at verse 23, by faith, Moses, when he was born, when he was born, was he three months of his parents? Because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's order. Whenever you're acting faith, forget about what the people have said. Forget about what the king has said. Forget about the norm. Whenever you are doing faith, uh, acting faith, it's like one million people are coming, go, going one direction, and you're the only person going a different direction. That is faith. Everybody's taking the so-called vaccine of death and the destruction, and you said, no, I will not take it because it's a death sentence, not because it is mark of sickness. No, like I've told you, and I want to repeat it, the mark of sickness will be after the rapture. But because you don't want to die, you don't want to die, you stand. You will not eat, oh, you will starve, oh, this and this law will come. He said, no, mama, 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 mama. I am a seed of God and a seed of righteousness. I shall not die. I shall live and proclaim the goodness of the Lord. Are there powers? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do they have money? Are they this and that? I have a bigger God and I have a greater God. That is my faith. You know, uh, uh, entrance through which I usually come to my house. People will come and do sacrifice. I noticed that in last year, last two years. People will come and do sacrifice, sacrifice. Uh -uh. They will sacrifice to demons. You see all kind of funny things there. Before I will come, I will turn towards that place. From that place, I will drive to my house. As I prayed about it, and they said, when I was having December on 1st January this year, I make a proclamation. I said, in the name of Jesus of Notre let me warn you people. I don't know who is responsible for that, but anybody... That will go and sacrifice to a dead God, a stupid God, and drop that sacrifice that place. The person will be there, held captive by God. The person will be there, the senses of that person will go. The person will be there carrying the, 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 the so called whatever sacrifice and to be shouting and walking around until I come. If the person did it by 12 midnight, the person will be walking up and down until death breaks. I gave this order and commanded it and said, this is what I want. If you like, try it. Since then, they know there is power. Everybody ran away. Nobody has ever done such a stupid act there. That is my faith. You are building a house and they're telling you, devil, devil, demon, demon, power is holding you. No, no. If your faith is not too much, if your faith is not enough, say, call somebody who you know you have faith and say, I join my faith with your faith and I possess my possession. Why should the devil come and take away that which you have? No, you Bible says spoiling the Egyptian, spoiling the Egyptian, spoiling the Egyptian. We are the one to be going to them and taking the best out of them. They are working for us. The Bible says, even the gold and silver and whatever thing the people of Egypt are worth, the Israelites took them. People took it as an excuse to be wearing earrings and they said, no, it was turned to money. Their earring was their money in those days. It was gold and silver money they were using in those days. They were converting it. If you see where they are going, God said, use it to build this, use it to convert it into this, convert it into this and this for me. Child of God. Without faith, it's impossible to eat to please God. Can you begin to tell yourself, I empty myself of everything that is not fit. I empty myself of everything that is not fit. I empty myself of everything that is not fit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can walk around and buy your house after this prayer and confess this thing. I empty myself. Anything not of faith, get out of me. Get out of my spirit. Get out of my soul. For 30 minutes, one hour, you are doing confessional prayer. That is faith. He discovered that he's a proper child. No! Other women are born in, and their children are being dead. They're killed. But this one, I delivered this one at home. Do you know the circumstances that surrender your bed? You would have died. You wouldn't have been existed. You could have died in bed. You could have been aborted. You could have died as a child. One thing or the other day. But God preserved you. Even those of you that travel to Europe. Many of you travel through sea. Many people die through sea. Even the people that travel through air. Some of them have been killed. Some of them are dead. But God is keeping you over there. That is the reason why you are alive. Are you hearing me? That is the reason why you are alive. Stop being afraid. You have not fulfilled your mission on earth. You have not done what Jehovah said you would do. And I declare you will live and do what Jehovah said you would do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It must be by faith. 
it must be by faith. They discovered that this is a proper child. This is not any how child. They took an idea. Come, faith will give you an idea. Faith will tell you, look at what to do. You go and do it by yourself. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. Faith will always bring down an idea. An idea came to them. You see them doing the impossible. This is a newly born child that is supposed to be protected and they take the child to the water. We are cold. We become, but they believe God. For the father is a proper child. He will be taken proper care of by the maker of the child. Many times we live in fear and forget about the possibility of this great God and this great man of war. And before you understand it, they kept the child over there. They have a target. Lord, we believe you right now, mama, mama, mama. This is a proper child. What you like, do with this proper child. Whatever thing you like, do with this proper child. We are not afraid of the law of the king. We are not afraid of what the king of the land of the creed we are not afraid of the Lord has given but we are saying in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the son of the most high God the God of protection we take over the child they were not afraid they know a miracle will happen somebody will come and ask after the child is a proper child they know that everybody that sees the child will love the child the child might not be the proper child but the parents say it's a proper child who are you saying your children are who are you speaking that your children are child of God this is a time to live holy for God. This child is stupid. Is he idiot? Is this and that? Okay, they will be stupid and idiot for you. But when you say, no, I cannot have idiot. I cannot have a stupid child. Just like I've been correcting since yesterday and all the ways I've been saying, he said you have a kid. I don't have kid. I have children. You can call them kid and they begin to be like children of goat. Goat. No. I live for God and for God. We are is your faith. Child of God, they say, I'm a child of God. I repented the time. You repented is not important. But what have you put in the time? It's not how far, but how well have you gone with your faith? He said, you remember in those days when you're praying it to begin to happen? Is it not the same you? Is it not the same God? Why have it all be by faith? It must all be by faith. It must all be by faith. My car, la, 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 la. They saw it's a proper child. They kept them there. And the Bible said uh, when the daughter of Pharaoh was risen by God, somebody had perpetual faith. Faith is like setting a trap that must catch a meat. Hallelujah. Faith is like setting a trap. It must catch a meat. You're going to that interview. Believe that work will be given to you. Come on. You have started the building. Believe you are going to finish it and pack it to it alive. You are going to have evangelism. Believe God will give you men and women to win for the kingdom of God. You go, you're pregnant. Believe you will deliver peacefully. Believe you will deliver successfully. Believe. Believe that is faith. Putting your belief out. You know, the belief is inside. When your belief works out, then it becomes faith. Real loving and mighty and wonderful faith. Are you hearing me? They said this is a proper child. Uh, they, because they set a trap already, it must catch a meat. Believe that you have a trap, it must catch a meat. Oh, my, 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 There was a time things were too difficult for all. We were so difficult. Hey, there was nothing, nothing in the house, this and that. I have a small trap. I took the trap to the forest. I set it in a neutral place where if you pass, you will see it. Any animal will see it and know it's a trap. I just kept it there, but I prayed the prayer. I said, in the name of Jesus, I want to eat meat tomorrow. I didn't know when I ate meat last, Lord. I take this trap to the forest, and I have set this trap here. In Jesus' name, let it catch a meat. A sweet one indeed. I don't know, but I need meat. Amen. Do you know the following morning, I went there. I saw one opening eyes like this, and looking at me inside the cage of threat. I said, hallelujah. That is what your faith looks like. Whenever you propel faith, you have set a trap that is going to catch a meat. That is faith. If you have not caught faith, mid, believe it is going to catch very, very soon. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. For without it, the Bible said, you cannot please God. And because they have set a trap, before understanding, Pharaoh's daughter was woken up, go to stream, bath this morning, go to stream, bath this morning, don't take your bath at home, come and go for leisure. While it was going, a trap had been set already, and somebody to conquer the message had been there, and before you understand it, the child began to cry. Oh, come on. When you have propelled your faith, allow God to finish the remaining one. Allow God, who told Moses to cry, 
at the particular time that the daughter of Pharaoh will hear. Otherwise, the child was there, not crying. If he had been, he had been crying, everybody would have noticed the child is there. But he was not crying. And at a particular time, because faith of somebody is working somewhere. And before you understand it, come on, baby, cry. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, the faith, the crying now came and pierced the heart. That is a trap somebody have set. That is a trap somebody have set. Hallelujah. I don't know what the trap of your faith have set. Mama, mama, instead of you to set the trap that will catch good in, you said you are setting a trap for your brother. You are setting a trap for your sister. He's going to fall into my trap one day. Child of God, you repent and be born again. That's not the kind of trap I'm asking you to do. Come on, it must be a trap of faith so that you're going to have a good testimony. You must have a cage where the power of darkness, you bind them, you get your possession and become seed of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise because it's a proper child. They were not afraid of the laws. They were, that, that means they were not listening to rumors. So many people in my country right now because of the war, whatever, everywhere, some people are already dead because of war rumors. Like the one lady prophesied and said, the Lord told her this, that even our prayers cannot work. That even if you pray, it's not important. That whether you pray or not, it's not better. It must all come to pass. Which kind of God is that? Which kind of prophecy is that? People felt they are monopoly of power and they are monopoly of prophecy. The Bible said, let two or three prophesy and let other people judge. It is it no more in the Bible? First Chronicles, is it no 7, 14? If my people are called by my name, to humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Is that in the Chronicle? And say, what God is looking for? Repentance. He said, they have will die. They have repented. God said, I forgive you. Come on. Stop putting people in bondage. And stop being in bondage because you don't have faith. You are living a, a... What do they say? What are they saying? Come on. What is God saying? And no one man are saying. What God is saying is what is stands as powerfully important. Believe you will not die in the camp of your enemy. No matter how many times you get into the camp of the enemy, believe you will not die in the camp of the devil. Believe you will not die in the camp of the enemy. That is faith. I'm not dying today. I shall live and proclaim the goodness of the Lord. I shall live and say happy better days. Because I'm sick now does not mean that I'm hopeless. I am not hopeless because things are not working out right now. But I'm seeing a better tomorrow. With the eyes of faith begin to see a better tomorrow. A happy you. A glorious you. A blessed you. A favored you. Uplifted you. A connected you. Hallelujah. Life is in the hands of the Lord. Somebody can breathe now. If you want to breathe, breathe out. If you want to breathe again, the owner of the air can seize it. That is death. We are not predictable. We only predict. It's only God that can be predict. Can predict us. If you predict yourself tomorrow, I'm going to be this and that. No, 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 no. When he was born, he was hidden. So that it was a trap that was set. Look at verse 24. By faith, Moses, when he was come to age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Ah, this woman took care of me, but she is uncircumcised woman. She is from idolatry background. Somebody must have been a help to you. Hey, you become a child of God. Must you marry that person? Because the person have to. Look at what, what Moses was picked up. A lot was done for Moses. He read mathematics in Federal University. He was to be second in command. He had the honor and pledge. He said, all these things I don't like. Who told him this? Who told him this? The mother kept telling him because the sister was there. When Pharaoh's daughter was there, can I bring a woman? Can I bring a woman? Can I bring a woman that take care? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went and brought the mother of Moses. And the mother of Moses was being paid, being fed for taking care of a child. Even when the Western world have not done that child welfare, God have done it for mother of Moses through faith. Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When you have acted faith, people will pay you and you'll be relaxing, eating and enjoying. And the other people will be eat, laboring. You'll be eating the labor of people because you're a man of faith. You operated by faith. You started your faith early in your life. At the earlier time, beginning time of your Christianity, you stood by faith, walked by faith, lived by faith, and you move by faith. In him we live, we know, we move, and we have our being. It is in Christ that we live and live forevermore. Is alive, 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 alive forevermore. Ah, Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. Ah, Jesus is alive forevermore. If you said you're born again, you don't have faith, then you're not born again. 
You must believe the invisible. Let's go on. The Bible said that. He said, no, 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 no. This woman cannot be my mother. I know who my mother is. She might not be educated, but she's my mother. She might not be handsome, beautiful. She's my mother. She might not be rich. She is my mother. A mother is a mother. No, 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 no. This woman have Kadalaka. This woman have plane. She has everything. But she cannot be my mother. We don't have the same belief. We are not agreeing together. She's from down and from above. She's going down. I am going up. No, I know who my mother is. She may be cooking with crayfish. This woman may cook with meat, stockfish, and everything. I still know who my mother is. I cherish my mother. I value my mother. I know my father. My father might be a hungry man somewhere. My father might be a suffering man somewhere. Yeah, it was only the woman that appeared. You know, if the woman appeared, they say, eh, you are the father of Moses. Are you the father of Moses? Which I deal with you. They don't even know. Oh, the woman was. That is wisdom. People may say, eh, eh, you know, eh, eh, I, I want to do restitution. Mm. You know, I, I want to do restitution. Uh, you are paying me. I told you before, <clears throat> uh, 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 I am the woman taking care. I am the woman to take care of uh, uh, you know for, for these 15 years for these 25 years you have been paying me uh, for these 30 years you have been paying me I want to do restitution I am the mother of Moses I am not just an ordinary person shame most restitution you do are irrelevant you expose yourself and put yourself in shame in problem and in trouble go and seek for advice before you venture into some restitution you have done you, 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 you told lies in your own passport. You're supposed to be 50 and you said you are 45. That is lie. Go to God and cry. But the next time you do your passport, tell them I made a mistake in my age. Correct it now. I am a born again child of God. Somebody was telling me that he did that. He has to go to his country, right? And write this country. And write this. The people are not permanent there. They, but what are you writing? What They can't even do anything. It has been computerized in the system. It can only be corrected by the time you get back again to renew it. You tell them, there was a great mistake in my passport. I don't want to continue with that mistake. Please, please, please. You bring one, two, three evidence to prove to them. They said, okay. They will correct it. You think you are a super Christian. Many Christians would have gone into restitution today to say, sorry. I ate Pharaoh's money and Pharaoh's daughter's money and greater persecution would have risen on the children of God. But the woman was like, after all, her duty was to take care of Moses. After all, it was a duty given by God and somebody is paying her to do the duty. Come on, may somebody pay you for doing your duty. Faith, may faith in you bring somebody to begin to pay you, labor for you in the name of Jesus. Come on, I didn't see anybody saying amen to that. I said, may somebody, God touch the heart of somebody to begin to pay you, bring his own plenty and abundance towards you. Do you know the Bible said the riches of the Gentile is for you? Receive it right now. May somebody begin to Pour on you the blessings of the Lord. The riches of the Gentile belongs to us. We spoil the Egyptian. I decree now, somebody who is listening to me, may you spoil the Egyptian. Can I see somebody saying amen to that? Let me see the first person typing amen. That you spoil the Egyptian. The riches of the Gentile will come to you. You will use it to stretch crusade, even starting from your village to men of God, to women of God, and to children of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on. I've not seen anybody typing amen. Okay, come on. My sister Rita. Uh, okay, in Kitchen, you have been the first person. Come on, Pamela, you have killed him. Joyce, you have killed him. To God be other glory. Yeah, Joyce, you have killed him. Yes, Rita have taken a second portion again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way. That's the way. That's the way. Yes, Pamela, that's beautiful. That's the way it's supposed to be, Rita. Yes, Joy, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. All that will type amen. May your amen be permanent. May your amen happen. May it be to you that you cannot, cannot continue learning. Boring. They said every son born of a man, a woman, every male child shall be killed. They said this one is not supposed to be killed. So do I decree to you, death can touch people but not people like you. Death can kill somebody but not your child. Death can kill somebody but not your wife. Death can kill somebody but not your husband. Death can remove and feed but not on your family. In Jesus name, coronavirus can go to any land. Coronavirus can go to any height but not having anything to do with your family. The Bible said with your eyes will you see them. They will not even come near your dwelling. So be it in Jesus name. Hallelujah. 
He said to them, I cannot answer the name of that woman. No, 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 no. No matter what she has done to me, it will no matter what she has done to me, I will not sell my birthright. I will not sell my birthright. My Kelly will not sell your birthright in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will stand on the truth of the word of God. No matter what they have done, no matter what they have given to you, they cannot take away your Christ in you. No matter the kind of pleasure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. By faith, he said he refused to answer the, the Pharaoh's daughter. I said, no, no, no. Look at verse 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin. No, no, no. Faith doesn't have anything to do with sin. Faith hates sin. Faith rejects sin. He said, this place I will go and commit sin. I will eat in plenty and commit sin. No, let me go where I will be hungry and I will live for God. My people said, instead of me to go where I will eat and die, where I will be satisfied and die, let me be hungry and live. That's the adage of my people. You see to that. The Bible says be wise. Child of God be wise. Man of God be wise. Child of God be wise. It must be by faith. When other people are failing, you cannot fail because already in the spiritual realm you are seeing success already. You are seeing God helping you to move ahead in the name of Jesus Christ. You choose to suffer affliction because affliction of children of God are not for Forever. The affliction are not permanent. The affliction is for a while. Affliction is like passing through a furnace. Every gold must pass through furnace. Every child of God that chosen to pass through affliction, know that he is a god. Old, and he needed purification. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are to be purified. Jehovah will purify you. By the time he finished purifying you, you will shine mightily, highly, gloriously, and the name of Christ shall be glorified. In Jesus' name. Look at verse 26. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Hey! He said, I'm seeing the riches of Christ. That the riches of Egypt are perishable. Faith will see far. Faith will go far. Faith will see the ending. I was talking with somebody today and the person told me that yesterday the wife was troubled. The wife said, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to our village house. Let's leave this place. The wife was a kind of restless. He told the wife, no. We're going to stay as a man. He said, when the wife was so troubling and so troubling, he kept quiet and stayed alone. After some time, in the night, some evil men, I don't know who they look for, he said, they came closer to that place where they're living and they shot on some, saw somebody and killed somebody. When he was telling me that, I said, he don't know women. It's only people that don't know women that will underestimate them. God created women in a powerful way. Are you hearing me? Listen to me. If you are a man that is listening to me, if you are married, and there's a particular person, your wife is telling you, I don't like your companion with this person. Can't you change companionship? Do something about it. If you don't do it then, you will regret later. Are you hearing me? There's a power of intuition. They see far. Women see far. They will tell their husband what to do. Some husband that don't have spiritual eye will argue. Later, it will still happen again. That is why every reasonable man will always agree with the wife. Because they have a very tender soft heart. God can always reveal things to them. Sometimes my wife will tell me this. I said, no. We're not going to. My wife said, darling, why not my king? When she wants to get me so cheap, she'll call me my king. My king, why not we do this? Well, I, I said, king is talking to the queen. Let me think about it. I said, okay, okay, okay. By the time we agree, before I understand it, it will result. There was something that happened today. Pia, 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 pia. She has made a plan and worked it out. Instead of this person to travel, let me do it this way. I said, hey, what a gift I have. Treasure your wife as a gift. Are you hearing me? Treasure your wife as a gift. I'm the best in how will it manifest. She said, no. The riches of Egypt, I'm not going to enjoy it. I am seeing beyond riches of Egypt. I am seeing the gold that cannot perish. I'm seeing the street of gold. There is a reward that one day. If I will eat and enjoy here. No, 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 no. Let me go ahead. Let me suffer for now. One day, my reward shall come. Where I will be forever and ever. Is it not better to stay for 70, 80, 90 years suffering. And live for eternity. 10s and 20 and 30. For hundreds of years and millions of years. Without suffering again. Eternity is better than where we are. Have eternity in view. That sin you commit is in a record. If you don't repent, you go to hell. Repent now, my brother. Repent now, my sister. So that you will not die and go to hell. So that you will not die and suffer and cry forever. You're having malice. You refuse to forgive. This is time for us to forgive. 
It's time to say, Lord, help me to forgive. And then God will help you to forgive in Jesus' name. Look at what the Bible said. Esteem, verse 26, esteeming the riches of Christ greater. Riches than the treasures of Egypt. What do they have in Egypt? Or these treasures that are perishable? Yeah? Where you still die with them. For he had respect unto the recompense of the rewarder. Now, I know there is a day of reward. My rewarder, my rewarder is coming, my rewarder, my rewarder is coming, your rewarder, your rewarder is coming, our rewarder, our rewarder is coming, a day of reward is coming. Can you stand before him? Can you tell him welcome? Can you tell him thank you so much? Can you can he tell you, oh, welcome you faithful servant? Can he tell you like that? By faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. For he endured as seeing him who is one invisible. My, 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 my. He was seeing somebody invisible. Faith is being directed in the visible world by an invisible power. That is faith. When you are seeing beyond human, that is faith. When you're praying beyond human, that is faith in Christ. When you're praying, seeing the maker of heaven and earth, seeing the creator, creating the thing because you are talking, creating the thing because you desire it. There was no post of prime minister throughout the land of Egypt. But somebody that have faith, somebody that look far, have to go there and the position have to be created for him. God can create a position that has never existed for anybody for you. And you can possess that position. Hallelujah. We're talking about faith. Spiritual faith. Mental faith. Financial faith. Physical faith. They must all be around. How can you tell me you have faith and you're too sick? I'm very, very sick. No. God can recreate and recreate. Do you know God showed somebody spare eyes, eyes in millions, in hundreds of millions, years, and ah. He told God, do you keep people in heaven here? God said, no. These are spare parts of human beings on earth. Anybody that believe it, his spare parts is here. That eye that I've been troubled, your spare eyes is in heaven. You can order for your spare eye. God, I don't want this old eye. Heal me. Heal me. A lot of things that happened to me. I said, I don't want to manage this thing anymore. I don't want to have it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you have to give me a new clean eyes. And the miracle has to happen. Are you hearing me? Come on. Order your own. You have the import license, which is your faith. And then the process is through prayer. Believe, and it works for you. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that cometh to him must believe that he is, and the deliverer of he that cometh to him. For he endureth as seeing him who is invisible. Have you seen him that is invisible before? Have you seen this God that is invisible? Have this invisible God spoken to you before? And you tell everybody, no, my case is different. That is when God is handling you. This person have died. This person did it and died. This person did it and fell. You said, my case is different because I have an invisible being that is controlling me. I have an invisible being that have gone ahead of me. That is faith. You see how God sent Joseph ahead of people. They thought they sold him. They never knew that God sent him to go and prepare for them. Hmm. Your family must have provoked you. You left your country. You left your mother in anger. Don't continue with that anger. Believe me tonight. God will prosper you. So that you'll be the one feeding the family. You have not gone to the level you're supposed to be because you're still annoyed with them. Forgive everything they have done. And God will make you the Jephthah of that family. Hallelujah. You see, when Jephthah was provoked, he left. Maybe we'll still come to that in faith. He's recorded among the men of faith. Through faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. The Lord spoke to them. Hello, he said, Lord, from now, kill the Passover lamb. Sprinkle the blood on the lintels of your door so that nothing will happen. And they obeyed. When the killer came, he saw the blood. Today, because you're a seed of God or because you want to be a child of God. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus on you. Coronavirus will not see you. The killing that is happening in Nigeria will not see you. The killing happening in your country will not see you. For they say, when I see blood, I'll pass over you. When the spirit of death will come and see the blood of Jesus, sprinkle on your head, sprinkle upon you, pour upon you, he will not kill you. He will not kill your wife. He will not kill your husband. 
He will not kill anybody around you in the name of Jesus. You live in confidence and in faith. And Christ alone shall be glorified. To him be other glory in the mighty name of Jesus. You can kill your Passover. Your Passover have already been killed. And that is the man of war. Your Passover have been Jesus of Nazareth. The rock of ages. The mighty man of valor. The blessed Jehovah. Have you received him as Lord and Savior? If you have not received him, all you are doing is jamboree in life. You really need to receive him. Oh, the most pitiable person on earth, or the person to be pitied much on earth, is see that live without Christ. You are taking great risk if you are not born again. Because the moment you leave, you fall into unquenchable fire, where there will be disaster and where there will be destruction forever. What are you enjoying in this world that will make you to throw away the glory and the honor of Jesus of Nazareth? Can't you say, now I need you, Lord Jesus, in my life? Can't you say, come into my life? Can't you say, be my king and my lord? Can't you say, be my savior? Can't you say, be my everything? When the blood of God is sprinkled upon you, the blood will be the one speaking to you. When the invisible things come, the blood will speak on your behalf. Let the blood be their protection. Let the blood be your preservation. And not that cosmetic. And not that, uh, you know, nonsense you are robbing. When them demon come, they'll get attracted and get to kill. But when it is the blood all over you. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on your way. I plead the blood of Jesus on you tonight. As you're sleeping tonight, as you're waking up in tonight, uh, as you're waking up this morning, as you're about to enter your bed, I plead the blood of Jesus on you. The road you walk, I plead the blood of Jesus. Your bedroom, I cover in the blood of the that strange noise that used to happen in your life. I plead the blood of Jesus in your family and I bind the power of darkness. No more. Let the blood speak on your behalf. Every judgment they have made against you anywhere, every condemnation, wherever they have ganged up against you, the blood will speak over there. Let the blood of Jesus cover you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil that has spoken against you, the blood will release you. The blood will set you free. The blood will liberate you. The blood will make you whole in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus keep speaking and his name be glorified forevermore. In the wonderful name of Jesus. I got to see you again by next um, tomorrow. But if you are not born again, you are not doing yourself any good. You are denying yourself a lot of things. You are the one that went and prepared this food. You waited and the food was prepared. And the food is about to be eaten. You, you deny yourself this. You, God created you. You are a child of God. You have gone to school with all your beauty, with all your handsomeness, with everything. Why not receive Jesus now? Every other thing you have is perishable. Only your soul will live forever. Wouldn't you want to receive him now? I said, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I want to live by faith. I am not seeing you, but with the eyes of my faith, I will see you. The moment you believe, your spiritual eyes will be open. Do you want to receive him today as Lord and Savior? Can you say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I am sorry I am a sinner. Come into my life, Lord. I receive you now, Lord, as my Lord and Savior. Let the great grace of Jesus come into my life. Forgive all my past. And let me be renewed in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Father, show him mercy, show her mercy. As he had made up his mind and her mind to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior today, let the great grace of God come into your life. Let the power of Jesus come into your life. Let the righteousness of Jesus come into your life. May you remain seed of God and seed of righteousness now and forevermore. I cover in the blood of Jesus. Let God give you grace to remain a powerful child of God. Let unrighteousness disappear. May you never hunger for sin. May you be ashamed of sin and live for righteousness. And let the righteousness of Jesus possess you. Walk in you and make you whole now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. The glory of the Lord is upon your life. To God be our glory as his great grace walk in you and Jesus of Nazareth help you. To God be every glory now and forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. May God see you true. May his great grace see you through and help you. I pray for all of you that have faith, that say, God, increase my faith. 
May God increase your faith. All of you that have taken decision while I'm preaching right now that you're going to demonstrate your faith. That your faith is going to come out and work out for you. That you have lived in fear for long, but now you want to live in faith. Let God of heaven and earth help you right now. In the name of Jesus, your story must change. Why must it be that little job, that faith, almost nothing that you're doing for such a long time? No. I lift up your faith for a better thing. May God give you what you are not qualified for. If God can give you Jesus grace that you are never qualified for, may he give you physical things or that you are, you are not qualified for in the name of Jesus. Grace possesses you. Grace work in you. Grace work towards you. And his great joy possession work in you. And Christ's name be honored in you forevermore in Jesus' name. I cover you again in the blood of Jesus that the God of peace possesses you. Walk in you and make you whole. To him be all the glory forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. It is well with you. God bless you. It must be by faith. It must be by faith. It must be by faith. Walk by faith and move by faith. And you have nothing to regret. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Thank you so much for wishing me more anointing. I receive it, my sister Bose. Hey, mama, mama. I receive that grace. I receive that more anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, daddy. It is done. Keep rejoicing. Jesus of Nazareth is Lord. May your ways be open. I release healing. For you have been sick. Come on. God is a healer. Receive healing. I lay hand on you. Makarabra Hindo Shori Baba. Receive healing. In any part of the world you are watching me, receive healing. Receive deliverance. Receive freedom. Be healed. Be healed. And be healed now. And perfectly, in Jesus' name I decree for the joy of the Lord is your strength. God bless you. Share this message. Share it, share it, share it. Thank you for being an instrument of usage in the hands of the Lord. God is using us to preach and you're used. God is using you to encourage us. We cannot forget your good deals. Jesus told them, do you see this woman? Wherever this gospel is preached, this good she did, will it never, ever, ever, ever be forgotten, but it will be spoken of. The good you have done for us, encouraging us, will be spoken of. Many of you are sharing. Many of you are, are helping for data. Many of you are praying for us. And many other ways. Mama, mama, mama. One woman of God told me uh, in Spain how the children prayed for me. He said, when they read prayer, point about, mm, the child begins to any demon that will touch him, eh? any devil that will touch him. If you said, it, I was excited. I said, God, I thank you. I need this more of prayers. I know you are praying for us while we are praying for you. The God, joy of the, the peace of of the Lord and joy of the Lord remain your strength. We shall meet together in heaven that day. You will not miss heaven. I will not miss heaven. We shall be there one day gloriously rejoicing and dancing and giving God the praise. Remain favored and blessed. Jesus love you. So do I. He loves you more. God bless you. Do the right thing. Repent today and sin no more. God favor you. Amen.